and this point was uh, 14 comma 1. So this means that the original coast, coast curve has been shifted 14 to the right. So I'm going to use coast, positive coast, because I know where a maximum is. Okay, and it's just uh, to get there, we need to shift the original coast curve 14 to the right. So therefore, my D value is 14, and I'm going to use coast, sorry, not negative coast, just coast, because it's a max. Okay? represent proportion of the moon visible at t in days. Okay, but I can't just say t in days because what does that mean? Does that mean days from today, um, days in the month of January? So we have to say days since um, January, or T in days where T equals 1 represents January 1, 2006. Okay, so this allows me to like, okay, what, where was the moon visible on like February 27th, 2010? I should be able to figure out then based on how many days have happened what my T value should be. So you have to include this last bit of information. Okay? So P at T equals, I've decided to use cos, my A value is 0 0.5 cos of, now my K value is 2, oh sorry, no I don't know what my K value is. So what is my K value? Well my period, my K value is just 360 days divided by the period. So it's 360 divided by 12, okay, or sorry, divided by 30, it's 30 days. So my K value is 12. So 12, okay, um, T minus 14, okay, and that's in degrees. And then add my axis of 0 0.5. Now I need to include a domain, so I'm going to just include this for a year. I'm going to say this is good for one year. Okay, you need to make some kind of reasonable assumption. If it hasn't told you how good the uh, data is good for, then just make a reasonable assumption as to what the domain should be. So now you want to do some testing. So you'll notice if you find P at 7, for instance, you will get 0 0.5522. So we know from our chart that P at 7 is actually 0.55. So this is slightly off because again, this is our best estimation. The data doesn't fit exactly a sinusoidal curve. It's just really, really close to it. Now if we put P at 14, we could get 1, and we should because we based the uh, function, the model, off of that point. Um, if you put in P at 29, you do get 0, so that's good news. Okay? But if you put in P at 1, you get 0 0.04, okay? So depending on what you put in, you're going to get some are closer and some are far away from the actual point. The thing is, is that this is what happens when you apply math to real life. Math is perfect, real life is not. So you get data that um, isn't always exactly perfect. But that's okay, the model is still useful to make predictions and to discuss what's going on with uh, the proportion of the moon. And that's the case with anything, with exponential functions, quadratic functions, it's very rare that you have data that fits to something, to a mathematical model perfectly. And so that's why robots can't do all the math. You need a human being to interpret the information and to determine how it's usable. Okay? So that's the first set. I'm going to stop now and record a different video um, with the rest of the three examples. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned lots.